We've been working with Philly on football since the origin of the festival. Uh, they celebrated 35 years this year uh, and we thought that we should do something special, bearing in mind that it's the 25 years of the Good Friday Agreement. So we thought an international summer school would be an ideal uh, opportunity this year and we're delighted to actually get it up and running. Gaelic Games is a fantastic sport because it involves both both hand coordination and feet coordination. So there, there's a lot of sort of similarities with the sports in the United States between the basketball and American football. So we thought it was an ideal opportunity just, just to allow them to experience their O'Neill's ball uh, and they're thoroughly enjoying it. It's been really fun. Um, I watched Australian football, which is like some of the rules transfer over. Um, not to say that like I'm a pro at it because I watch Australian <laughs> football, um, but I've really enjoyed it so far. It's been fun. We had a uh, a father and a reverend come in, and they've been doing work I think in Ardoin to try to like bridge the gap between the communities and try to show the people that they're not as different as some of them may think they are. Uh, so that was a really enjoyable session in which you know. All we've been hearing when we come here is how separated the Catholics and the Protestants are, and then to see two people that are rather good friends, have traveled together, shared drinks together, it's, it's nice to see. In the United States, kids grow up, baseball, basketball, football, and if they're up in the north, hockey. Those are the four major sports. They play foot soccer, soccer, and they sat at a real young age. So when I look out here and I'm looking at our students, um, it's like actually looking at a three-year-old or a four-year-old the first time that they'd learn how to play a sport. So it's just, it's, it, it takes, it's totally taking them out of their comfort zone. But I think that's just the piece of this, right? The whole idea about this whole week for us is to be out of our comfort zone. And so whether it be sports, whether it be discourse within the community, whether it be topics that we, you know, people really don't want to talk about in the open. There's a lot of different cultural uh, things that we're doing this week out of their comfort zone and, that, and that, to me that's how you learn when you get out of your comfort zone. It's really showcasing uh, the Great Fela, the Great West Belfast, the, the wider Belfast city uh, and hopefully they will return to the States uh, with an appetite for, for here and a desire to return again at, uh, at some stage hopefully.